Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sir DL and welcome to the Aliens Blog and Math Tutorial. For today, we are going to discuss simplifying radicals. We are going to study simplifying radicals. What are the objectives of this lesson? Number one, discuss radicals. Number two, solve and simplify radicals. Number one, discuss radicals. And number two, solve and simplify radicals. Always remember, try and try until you succeed. You need to try and try until you succeed. What is radical? Radical, it is a symbol that represents a particular root of a number, such as square root, cube root, port root, etc. It is a symbol that represents a particular root of a number. These are the examples, square root, cube root, and port root. How do we simplify radicals? Look for a perfect square or perfect cube within a number. We need to look for a perfect square or perfect cube within a number. So I would like you to memorize this square roots of perfect square table. As you can see, square root of 1 is 1, square root of 4 is 2, square root of 9 is 3, square root of 16 is 4, square root of 25 is 5, square root of 36 is 6, Square root of 49 is 7, square root of 64 is 8, square root of 81 is 9, square root of 100 is 10, and so on and so forth. These tables will be helping you later in order for you to simplify radicals easily. Next one, we also have cube root. The cube root of 1 is 1, the cube root of 8 is 2, the cube root of 27 is 3, the cube root of 64 is 4. The cube root of 125 is 5. The cube root of 216 is 6. The cube root of 343 is 7. The cube root of 512 is 8. The cube root of 729 is 9. And the cube root of 1000 is 10. How do we simplify radicals? Look for a factor that is a perfect square or perfect cube. Let's try to have an example. What is the square root of 40? Since 40 is not a perfect square, we need to look for a factor of 40 that is a perfect square. What are the factors of 40 wherein one of the factors must be a perfect square? We can have 2 times 20, but 2 and 20 are not perfect square. We can also have 1 times 40. We can also have 8 times 5, but 8 times 5, 8 and 5 are not perfect square. So what are the other what are the other factors of 40? We have the square root of 4 times 10. 4 times 10 is 40. 4 is a perfect square. So 4 is a perfect square. So we can have, we can simplify the square root of 4. That is, the square root of 4 is 2, the square root of 10. The final answer is, to the square root of 10. The square root of 40 is 2 the square root of 10. Next example, square root of 200. How do we simplify radicals? We need to look for a factor that is a perfect square or perfect cube. What are the factors of 200 wherein one of the factors is a perfect square? We can have 40 times 5, but 40 and 5 are not perfect square. We can have 100 multiplied by 2. 100 times 2 is 200. 100 is a, is a perfect square. That's why we can simplify the square root of 100. And the square root of 100 is 10 the square root of 2. The square root of 100 is 10. Then we can write, rewrite the square root of 2. The final answer is 10 the square root of 2. Another example. The square root of 1 to 5. The square root of 1 to 5, we need to look for a factor that is a perfect square. One of the factors must be a perfect square. What, what are those factors? We have 25 times 5, that is 1 to 5. And 25 is a perfect square. What is the square root of 25? The square root of 25 is... 5, then copy the square root of 5. The final answer is 5, the square root of 5. Next example, square root of 243. 
How do we simplify radicals? By simply looking for a factor that is a perfect square. One of the factors must be a perfect square. What are the factors of 243 wherein one of the factors must be a perfect square? The factors of 243 wherein one of the factors is a perfect square is 81 multiplied by 3. 81 is a perfect square. Then 81 times the factors of 243 are 81 times 3. What is the square root of 81? Based on the given table, it's 9. So the final answer is 9, the square root of 3. Next one. What is the square root of 1, 2, 8? Let's look for, the, for a factor that is a perfect square. And the factors of 1, 2, 8 are 64 times 2. 64 is a perfect square, so we can simplify the square root of 64. That is 8. The square root of 64 is 8, then the square root of 2. This is our final answer. Next one. Let's try to have a cube root. What is the cube root of 48? We need to look for a factor that is a perfect cube. One of the factors must be a perfect cube. And those factors are 8 times 6. 8 times 6 is 48. And 8 is a perfect, perfect cube. So we can simplify the cube root of 8. And that is 2 the cube root of 6. The final answer is 2, the cube root of 6. Another example. What is the cube root of 375? Let's look for a factor that is a perfect cube. And one of the factors of 375 is 1 to 5. It is a perfect cube times 3. So 1 to 5 multiplied by 3 is 375. And 1 to 5 is a perfect cube, so we can have its cube root. The cube root of 1 to 5 is 5, the cube root of 3. Next example, what is the cube root of 81? We need to look for a factor that is a perfect cube. And that factor is 27 multiplied by 3. 27 is a perfect cube, so we can have its cube root. The cube root of 27 is 3, then 3, the cube root of 